This is an update on my uh, high voltage DC power supply. If, uh, in the last video I made uh, the voltage multiplier in the aluminium box which was cast in resin, it failed. So I chose another approach which was to use a sandwich box, or well, it's a bit small for a sandwich box to be honest, but it's, it's a clip on lead food storer from uh, Asda. And what I've done, I've, uh, I've made a chain, but instead of making it six stage, I have made it uh, three stage, so it's six diodes and six high voltage capacitors. And they are submerged in cooking oil because that's the only thing I have on hand. White mineral oil is better. Well, it would be a lot better, but. Uh, that's what I had on hand. I have tested it and it did work. I don't know if it's going to work again. It probably won't now on camera. But if I plug it in and stand well back. <coughs> and very carefully nudge that. That's some internal arcing. That's the silicone lead. Arcing onto the uh, aluminium. Let's move that away from there. It'll stay. Now that's not quite a hundred thousand volts, that's probably around fifty thousand volts. I, I'm guessing that the uh, the oil or the cooking oil, it's not quite breaking down, but it has got enough leakage for it to not produce for the uh, output multiplier it should it should work out to be around 80 to 90 kV with a 30 kV input high frequency but uh, I think the oil it's not recommended to use cooking oil I'm gonna have to go online so I can order some uh, mineral oil now in the UK mineral oil is easy to buy in a supermarket it's called Johnson's baby oil but it comes with a perfume in it which I don't think is adequate. I don't know what they add. There are additives in it. Pure white mineral oil is hard to buy in the UK uh, over the counter for some reason, but it's easy, it's readily available online. So I think I'll have to order me some of that, pick some of that up, and uh, flush the cooking oil out and uh, redo it with uh, white mineral oil. Right, I think that'll do it for today.